Car connoisseurs are still breaking spears. Is the Subaru Outback a separate model or a special version of the Legacy Station Wagon? There are strong arguments in favor of both the first and second judgments. But we are interested in something else. Is it worth buying the second generation Outback, the first copies of which are already seven years old? Like any car with such a body, the Outback is truly versatile. True, the driving position is not very comfortable, since the steering wheel is located quite low. At the same time, the seats with lateral support are quite comfortable. The various gear servos, which the Outback is more generously equipped with than the regular Legacy, are largely a no-brainer. In the basic configuration, the car is equipped with climate control, power windows, four airbags, power steering and an audio system with six speakers. It will not be possible to find foci of corrosion on the bodies of even the oldest cars. The exception may be instances that have been in an accident, but such troubles with the Outback happen infrequently, for extreme driving, odd drivers usually buy Impreza. The main reason why many owners of Subaru cars choose this particular brand is the engines, exclusively gasoline. Horizontal boxers are distinguished by a sporty character, responsiveness to the touch of the accelerator, high torque, balanced work. Engine. At first, Outbacks were delivered to Europe only with the 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine, and in 2000 a new six also arranged according to the boxer scheme, with a volume of 3.0 liters appeared. Both power units have four valves per cylinder. Meanwhile, cars with 2.0-liter engines were sold in the domestic Japanese market. They could be of varying degrees of forcing, including having a turbine, and even two, but Outbacks with such units were not officially delivered to us. 2.5-liter engines can last at least 250,000 kilometers before replacing the rings and connecting rod bearings, although for especially careful owners such engines have already run 400,000 kilometers without any problems. 3.0-liter engines are more durable, they can wind up to overhaul in more than 500,000 kilometers perhaps because they are aggregated only with automatic transmissions that protect engines from overload. A serious drawback of the Subarov boxers is the laborious replacement of candles, and gasoline with iron-containing additives contributes to their rapid failure. Meanwhile, to replace them in the Outback, the 3.0-liter engine even has to be removed from the supports and shifted alternately in one direction or the other. To increase the frequency of this procedure, the designers use candles with platinum electrode tips, they can last up to 100,000 kilometers. However, since low-quality gasoline ruins both platinum and steel electrodes with the same success, many owners use ordinary candles, which cost three times less, UAH 36 versus UAH 125 apiece. By the way, both of them can often be returned to service by cleaning them from soot with a sandblast or toilet duck. The gas distribution mechanism of the 2.5-liter engine is driven by a belt, the breakage of which causes the valves to bend. The original belt serves 100,000 kilometers. Three ruble camshafts are driven by two chains, which must also be replaced after 100,000 kilometers. A feature of this drive is two hydraulic tensioners that can be delayed, causing the chain to knock in the first minute after starting the engine or when it is heated to maximum temperature. If the knocking does not stop, the assembly must be replaced. Simultaneously with the replacement of chains, it makes sense to diagnose the tensioners and replace the crankshaft and camshaft oil seals, the resource of which rarely exceeds 150,000 kilometers. On machines with the mechanics, permanent all-wheel drive is equipped with a viscous coupling center differential, which distributes torque in a ratio of 50% to the front and 50% to the rear axle. However, in the event of slipping of one of the wheels, the clutch redistributes the moment, giving up to 80% to the front end. On automatic machines, the viscous coupling is replaced by an electronically controlled multi-plate clutch. Some cars with the mechanics are additionally equipped with a dual-range system, a two-stage demultiplier, which, at the request of the driver, increases traction on the wheels, the gear ratio of the lower stage is 1.2, the highest one is 1. Versions with a lockable rear cross-axle differential, viscous coupling or a mechanics, were not delivered to Europe. The clutch of the European Outback had a torsional vibration damper on the flywheel, and not on the disc, like the Asians. In any case, the unit takes care of up to 140,000 kilometers, and the friction linings of the disc of a classical design can be replaced separately, re-riveted. Usually there are no problems with the Outback transmission, except that with increased force on the clutch pedal, 
it will be necessary to lubricate the release bearing drive mechanism. If this is not done, the bearing fork will break. Wheel bearings are afraid of hard side impacts. If there were none, the resource of the rear and front bearings is the same, at least 170,000 kilometers. The suspension is more energy intensive than the legacy station wagon due to long travel springs and shock absorbers. In Ukrainian conditions, most often you will have to change the bushings of both stabilizers and the front strut every 40,000 kilometers. The rear struts are more tenacious, at least 80,000 kilometers. At least 120,000 kilometers live the rear silent block of the front lever, 2 PCS, and ball bearings, 2 PCS. Other consumable suspension parts serve at least 150 to 170,000 kilometers, and all of them change separately, except for one of the six silent blocks on each side of the rear multi-link. Shock absorbers with moderate driving enough for at least 100,000 kilometers, and only after two or three of their replacements do the springs sag. Outback steering begins to remind of itself no earlier than after 100,000 kilometers. With such a mileage, the car needs a new power steering pump drive belt, provided that it was original, the alternative is enough for 60,000 kilometers. After 100,000 kilometers, the pump itself may also leak, but it doesn't matter new oil seals for repair come in spare parts. At this time, a knock may occur in the rack and pinion mechanism, but this trouble is eliminated by adjustment. With a run of 120,000 kilometers, it is usually time to buy tie rod joints. In brake mechanisms, only pads need to be replaced. The front ones work no more than 40,000 kilometers, the rear ones, twice or three times longer. Subaru Outback can be safely recommended to a person who considers a car as a multifunctional vehicle for enjoyment and family service, but at the same time they believe that, first of all, it should perform a representative function. In addition, Subaru is cheaper than classmates.